Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So as some of you may know, my friend is getting married in November and I am the maid of honor. So I am pretty involved with everything. I had got a lot of items for the bridal shower, for the bachelorette party, and for the rehearsal dinner. Um, I'm kind of just planning stuff and putting things together just to make those days special for her. And I just wanted to take you guys along with me. The bridal party, there will be the bride who is my friend and my boyfriend's sister. And then there are four bridesmaids in the party. So this weekend we are going to be getting together and kind of prepping for the bridal shower, making sure everything is going to go well. And also, we will be making hats for the bachelorette party. So I thought I would take you guys along on that journey. And it went like this. I just messed it up. Because I think that will be super fun. Hopefully they turn out. And I actually ordered the hat a couple days ago so I can show you guys it because it just got here. Yeah, so without further ado, I would love if you guys would come along on this journey with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Let's go. I just took my dog for a walk. <clears throat> and when we got back, I saw that the hat had arrived. So here it is. I can't really put it on because my hoop says backwards. I think. Yeah, this is the right way. So without the bun, it'll fit, obviously. This is what it looks like. It's actually pretty nice. I think it was 11 bucks. So it was cheap. And we're going to deck it out. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby right now and try and get some boa. I think that's what it's called. And then some different glitter, I think, because I didn't realize this was holographic until later. So I think the gold would be fine, but I just am not liking the black. So I'm going to go see if I can find some glitter that I like. But the hat is really nice. I wasn't sure about it. Because a lot of them were sold out, so I didn't get many options to choose from. But I'm happy with it. Okay, I just got back from Hobby Lobby, and I found some really cute stuff that was on sale. So, I am doing something a little different with my hat. So, here it is, again. It was on Amazon for $11. Um, it is, like... A toy hat. Nothing fancy. 11 bucks. So, first thing I got was not for any reason in particular. But they were just, they were three fifty. So, I had to get them for 12 bags. That's cheaper than the dollar store. So, um, I got them for my wedding stuff when I have a wedding, so I'm just gonna keep them in storage for a while. But I got a clever idea for that. So I was looking for gift bags that were for cheap and I couldn't believe it that these look like this and they're super cheap. I am gonna take this off though because it kind of ripped the bag. So I'll keep them all together in a different way. All right, so for the hat, I decided to get boa and I wasn't going to if it was costly because when I went to Party City, it was $8 for one of these, but at Hobby Lobby, it was only four bucks. So that is going to go around the brim, kind of like this, I think. I'm going to try to attach it to the top of the brim so it goes over the brim this way and leaves a little bit open here because I am going to put, I think, I'm going to put the black glitter here 
the black glitter here and then gold glitter here. Or I might do black on the brim, gold on the top. I'm not 100% not sure what I'm doing yet, but this will go around it. That's my idea. I don't know for sure, but. So I picked up some gold glitter and I was just gonna go with a little tube like the black glitter because it was cheaper and I'm probably, well, I definitely won't need this much gold glitter. If anything, I needed more black, but they didn't have this color gold in this little tube. They only had a darker gold. It's called yellow gold. And I was looking for this kind of gold. So, oops, that'll be the colors of my hat. I could have got a white base hat, but I figured black base would look better with black and gold. Just in case I didn't cover it all with black, it would already be black. So, now this wasn't planned, but these were on sale, so I bought them. And I was thinking I could stick them like around the brim under here since there will be pretty much nothing going on figured there's feathers all over i figured i could just stick some gems on there because they were cheap and they're cute and they're supposed to be adhesive but i will probably super glue them on anyways just to make sure they don't fall off i'm gonna take that off so super cute and the next two go together um this is just something i thought i could use to put this on my hat um these were on sale and i i wanted a cute charm for the hat just to i don't know make it my own so i picked up this one because these were on sale so there was a lot of country western ones to choose from which was cool because we're going to nashville so i picked a gun and i just think i'm gonna put it under here and kind of dangle it off the front it's kind of my idea so i got these little things that screw into the hat i'm thinking i'll screw into the hat then i'll super glue it then i'll attach this and it should work out good i'm hoping if it doesn't it's fine because i'm just gonna keep the receipt just in case things don't work but yeah that's it so now i'm even more excited for tomorrow and gonna pack everything up oops because we're leaving right after work tomorrow so i gotta pack tonight ac she hi she hi to the camera he's so good all right guys well i was going to show you all of us bridesmaids creating our hats but that didn't end up happening that weekend and i don't have another weekend before nashville to go down there and work on it so i'm just going to be making it by myself and taking you guys along with me i don't necessarily know what i'm doing so this isn't a tutorial or anything i'm just winging it and the hat won't be finished today because i didn't print out the there's like a label that's needed for this. I actually have to make sure I'm doing the front and the back. This is the front, but I need a label to go on this. But I figured I would get started on it since it probably will take a while for me to get the glitter thing down. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me. We're going to start with glitter today and maybe the boa the labels the last thing that needs to get done so if we do get the whole thing done besides the label i'll just show you guys the label um process when we get to it i'm gonna start by wiping off the hat first thing i'm going to do is add the gold glitter because i i'm not sure if i want to do gold and black or just gold so i'm gonna start with the gold see how I'm liking it and if I want to do the whole thing gold then I might but my plan is to do this part gold 
this black and this black. Hopefully it turns out good. I did get spray glue to coat it at the end. It says it dries clear, so I'm going to have to trust it. It was from the dollar store. And then I got Mod Podge to get the glitter to stick in the first place. So we're just going to try it. I don't know if I want the string or not, so I'm going to leave it in for now. And if I change my mind, I can take it out. I don't want to get it on any of this loose glitter because I don't want that sticking down there, but it might. That works. 
the spray better, it's a little easier to work with. So I'm wanting to at least get the glitter done tonight so I can work on the fun stuff tomorrow. The Mod Podge splotch dried looks a lot better than it did before, so. If I do the top gold, it won't really show yellow and black theme, well, besides under here, but that's not going to be glittery. So I think I'm just going to stick with my original plan and do the black glitter up on top here and here. But this time I'm going to dump it on and then swirl it around so I don't get sparkles in my Mod Podge. glitter I used just kidding so I literally lost no glitter but barely get that back in there part it's pretty good without even putting the last layer of glue on there so we'll go do that let it dry a little bit and put the boa on it okay let's go back inside as you can see by the whiteness of it I did a decently thick coat it's supposed to dry clear so I'm just gonna leave this to dry Hopefully I didn't miss any spots. It's looking pretty good. So we're gonna set this over here. Now back to working on my masterpiece. We got it completely dried up. We've got the coat sprayed on top of it. So this is how she looks. Uh, pieces do come off but nothing terrible, so 
it's good. I did get a couple of these printed um, for the front of the hat. So I could do Truly's Hard Seltzer or Tito's and I'm leaning more towards Tito's. Um, I have this Truly Lemonade one as just a, like a tryout to see how the Mod Podge works with the paper. This is a backup just in case the first one doesn't work. This was a screw up so it could be a practice one and then that was also screwed up so it could be a practice one. So what I do want to see is how the Mod Podge reacts with the paper. Trying to get the paper to stick to this hat. I'm wondering if I should use Mod Podge or I have these clear little sticky dots. They're clear, but they look white right now, but they go on clear. And I'm wondering if I should just use one of those in the middle because I can't find any videos of how to make the hat. Like everybody's making these hats, but Nobody's telling us how. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle some glitter onto the cardboard. Oops. <laughs> Is to just get an idea of how the Mod Podge and will stick on to the glitter. I'm just going to take this, oops, go over the piece of paper completely. So it doesn't seem to affect it with the glitter on the back, but it is going to bend up the paper, which I figured what happened. I didn't want to happen though. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out and just do a test run. Oh, this is the back of the hat. So here's the front of the hat. And I want it to be small enough to fit on here. So this obviously isn't going to work. Yeah, too big. Well, good. Less stress for me to deal with today. Well, what we can work on next is getting the boa put on here. So I'm going to lay it out how I want it.
this is how it looks super cute this is what the bottom looks like for now we're just gonna get the charm on the bottom where did i put that okay here. here's our charm and here's the thing we're gonna use to attach it hat on and try to decide so my picture side is this side so I think I want to have it on this side so like when I'm taking a picture you can see the cute little charm oh my goodness it won't look like this because I want to have a bun on my head but like right here off to the side might not even be able to see it with the feathers but we're gonna give it a go I'm thinking just right here because I want it closer to my face so it's not like hidden by the bow boa Oop. so I'm just gonna start twisting it on there Okay, that took me a very long time, but I got it. We lost the little piece. This little guy, he just did not hold up to the job. Um, I also realized I will not have to glue this because that was the hardest thing to undo in my whole entire life. Okay, so let's just find where I made that incision. Okay, so that's how it looks. Well, that's it for now. What do you guys think? And we are back working on the hat. So, today we're adding the Tito's label. At a couple different sizes. And we're going to see which one looks the best once I cut these out. Maybe this one. Except we don't have enough gems. So maybe I'll do a big one, small one, big one, small one, big one, small one, big one, small one. it's almost we just have to put the label on and she's done super exciting now my helper was Jaylee Bean with this one. So make sure to like and subscribe to her channel. What we can do. So they are clear. They're just covered in the white stuff right now. But you can see like, no you can't. But if I take this sticky off, then it's clear. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to do the dots on the top, I think. <gasps> She's spewing. So I'm just going to dab it here. If we screw this up, this is it for me. Ah, oh, it's not coming. Ah! Oh. And it's good enough. I think I just cut it a little crooked and then I'm sad now. Oh. 
Chopped all the glitter off. Yeah, that looks much better. I'm just going to do some big ones, some medium ones, some little ones. completed hat can't really see this too well and then the bottom so yeah oops that's what it'll look like but it'll fit on my head because I have a bun on my head right now it's not on there straight but fluffle these down boom what do you think? I think... I honestly think it turned out great. Exactly how I wanted it to. It's full 360. And this is still on from yesterday. Still looks really good. So... I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video and got some good ideas if you are going to make your own hats. The thing I would do differently if I were to do it again, which I probably will do it again, I would put these on first. I just wasn't sure about these at all, so I waited till the last, but I got glitter all over my leg because it comes off the top here. Um, Second thing I would do is just use spray glitter. Don't mess with the Mod Podge because it soaks into the hat pretty quickly. Um, so spraying it, then dumping on the glitter just works a little better. And yeah, that's all I think I would do differently. Everything else I love. I'm glad I did the feather boa after the glitter because everything sticks to this. So definitely got like lost 
pieces in there, but they'll fall out. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.